what's up people we are back with another video uh, the page is called south african late news uh today we're looking at the first hundred days of the gnu at the moment there's, there's not much that can be said because it's just 100 days it's not like six months but few ministers have shown that they are capable of doing something for the country i'll mention just, just a few i would say casey mckenzie is is like the top performer the best minister so far He's sitting around, he's, he's speaking and he's negotiating and he's doing all good for the department. At the moment he's working for SAFA to try and help them to get the sponsors for the VAR. You will remember that our soccer do not have VAR. SAFA said it's too expensive to implement now, so they said it cost about 70,000 rand per game. So Keaton McKenzie has promised that by the end of the year, he will have sponsors that will pay that 70 million that is needed. So yeah, Gating is working and we've seen also that our national teams are also playing much better since Gating became a minister. We saw Bafana Bafana beating Congo 5-0 and the Springboks, they just won the last series against the All Blacks. So everything's going good so far under Gating McKenzie. I think now the, the, the main focus where he needs to Put more effort it's in the arts uh, arts department because our musicians and our uh, and our actors they are still struggling i think it will help that if we can get some basic skills training for them because most of them don't seem to understand how to read the contract and so on just basic stuff so i think it's in, he needs to focus on them for time being and then his job would be would, would be good and then we see on the, on, on the other side, we see that the NPA is making several arrests lately. Uh, like today we saw that Pulema, the former spokesperson of the ANC, was, uh, was arrested for corruption that he did in 2017. Apparently he received the tender from the housing department to collect sewage or, or something like that, but he did not do anything. So today he was appearing in court in in Palmbridge Magistrate Court, but that's just for bail hearing. I'm sure he's gonna get it because he's a high profile person and the risk of him going away is very slim. So he's gonna get bail. And then we saw also the speaker today, uh, the the former speaker of the of the assembly, Mapisa Ngagula. She she's in court also for corruption. She got bribed from. The time when she was the minister of defense so yeah the government is in action now we see that people are working and the minister of police such as i think he's got a lot on his plate because there's there's been a lot of shooting lately you remember that in the eastern cape in lusigisigi 18 people were killed but i'm glad that as of today they arrested four people and then there was one that was arrested over the weekend. So there were five people arrested for the Lusigisigi massacre. So I think government is working now because they can see that the voters are tired. So they are trying to impress us. Hopefully the department side, such as education, they are going to show that they are good. Because uh, in December or, or at the beginning of February, uh, the matric results will come out. So. That's the only time we can see whether the Department of Education is doing something good or not. So we're hoping that uh, the results will also improve there. But all in all, I'm happy with the GNU. I'm just hoping that other departments will pull in their weights because it's not good if only a few departments are working, then the taxpayers' money will not be valued. So I'm hoping that uh, the the Minister of Education, that, that, that's the very important one that needs to perform, because our education system is in shambles. And then also the Minister of of Police, I forgot about, uh, the crime rate is still very high in this country, so social system still needs to appoint people that are able to gather intelligence that will prevent cash heists and these armed robberies and so on, because it is best that you prevent a crime from happening. It's not good that you come after where you speaking and promising to make arrest. The best thing to do is to prevent crime from happening. And then also uh, the Minister of 
finance will table the meeting term budget on the 30th of October. That's why we're going to see where the money will go, which department will get what and so on. So I'm looking forward to what that. But all in all, I'm happy with the GNU and Katie Nwakens is doing very well. And there's been some controversy about his trip that uh, he went to the Olympics. And I think uh, the cost of that was about 800,000. But he has been very transparent and he explained of how the money was used. Uh, most of it were, was used for accommodation, transport. And then the small, small portion was, was, was used for TNC, which is, is something not uh, new in this country. Because if you're a minister, you were expected to go overseas and do certain things and so on. So I don't see any, anything about the trip that Gatine took, but you know, politicians, they're going to try and attack him because they can't find any, anything wrong with him. So it's going to be, be interesting what's happening, what's happening on that matter. And then John Stenhazen, uh, he appointed some people that were not qualified. And then he, he was forced to withdraw those appointments. So I think this thing of being a minister, it's a learning curve for everyone. So I'm hoping that by the end of the six month of the GNU, many things will be in order and ministers will have found their foot and they will be working like a well-oiled well machine, so good luck to them. All I can say is that they must work and don't steal the money because that's the most important thing is do not do corruption. Uh, because we all know that if you do corruption, at some stage you're gonna get caught. Like Pula Mabe, uh, Mapisa Ngawula, the former speaker, and many, uh, and many other NC corrupt haters. They found out that you do crime, we're going to do the time at some point. So I'm hoping that the, under, under the GNU, we're going to see less of corrupt activities being reported because they're going to be working hard towards achieving the goal of which is to make South Africa better for everyone. So to all the ministers, good luck. And thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the page. It is called South African Lake News. Thank you.